My name is Paul Boga. I serve as the coordinator for the Winnipeg Real to Real Film Festival. This is our 2015 edition, so it's our fifth year and really excited what's going to be happening. We're based out of North Kelowna MB Church. We have uh, four different rooms that we convert into theaters and uh, we had a gate attendance the very first year of 1200, so we've been growing ever since then and we showcase films from around the world, so both short films and feature films and documentaries. Yeah, every single year there's something different where all of a sudden, without even meaning to the festival, you know, converges on a different sort of theme. And this year, it really is in terms of uh, loving people who have very different backgrounds than you. So if you look at films like Belle, which stars uh, uh, a girl who's half black and half white growing up in upper class aristocratic uh, England society, uh, then also The Good Lie, which stars Reese Witherspoon, and uh, she has to bring over Sudanese refugees into America and get them resettled. So these kinds of themes of really caring for people that have different backgrounds than us, you know, what does it mean to really love your neighbor uh, just kind of grew out of the different films that we saw this year that were submitted. It's really cool. We're showcasing a world premiere of Patterson's Wager, and this stars Fred Awanek, who was Hank Yarbo in Corner Gas. And so he's got a brand new film up, and so uh, Corbin Salikin and Alex Sahara from Vancouver are going to be out, and uh, they'll, they'll be here to premiere their film. So it's, that's really exciting stuff. That's happening on uh, Friday and Saturday evening. Melissa Hebert has a film that's going to be out. Uh, Dave Balser from CMU, he's got a brand new documentary out. Asks the question, well, when's the last time you used the expression, oh my God, and what does that mean? And why, why are we as a culture uh, engrossed with that, that kind of a saying? And uh, so Ernesto Griffith also has a film. He won the best uh, feature film in our very first festival. So he's got a brand new short film out as well. So uh, Burning Ember, the Steve Bell journey is going to be playing. So Andrew Wall is another Winnipeg filmmaker. Uh, he put the entire documentary together. And it's really cool to see how someone as famous as Steve Bell, the humble roots he started from, and what really motivates him and drives him to make his music. And so that film will be showcasing as well. And so very cool that Andrew can come out and, and present the film and talk to audiences about Steve's life and what impacted him. And so what we do is we have uh, films that are being showcased in four different theaters and people can watch whatever film they want. So it costs five bucks for an entire day to come out and there's talk back to the end of every film. So it gives people a chance to reflect on the film, what they like about it, what they didn't like about it. And then also to think, you know, what were the themes in the film? What kinds of things can we learn from this film we could take into our life with us? There's also a panel discussion. So if people want to meet the filmmakers, there's filmmakers from Winnipeg that'll be there. Also filmmakers from around Canada who are going to be here. And uh, so if people want to meet the filmmakers, ask questions, maybe find out, you know, how do you get into filmmaking? How do you make a movie? How do you do it on a limited budget or on a bigger budget? How does somebody get involved? And so we've got filmmakers who've done it all. So that's on Saturday afternoon at 3.30. 3 people get a chance to see, you know, meet a filmmaker and try and figure out, ask some questions and stuff like that.